गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मेडिकल क्लासेस बाई डॉक्टर श्रीनिधि कुमार आचार्य डोंट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड ऑल्सो प्लीज गिव यूर वैल्यूबल कमेंट्स सो इन द लास्ट क्लास वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द ट्रीटमेंट प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ आमोवाता सो वेन ए पेशेंट कम्स टू योर ओ पी डी और आई पी डी विद द कंडीशन कॉल एस रोमेटेड ऑर्थराइटिस इन द मॉडर्न साइंस और कॉन्टेम्प्रेर साइंस सो विच इज़ वेल कंपेर्ड विद आमोवाता इन आवर साइंस फॉर द प्रैक्टिकल पर्पज For the practical purpose, we used to compare this amavata with the rheumatoid arthritis. Anyway, now today we will look into the treatment aspect of this particular amavata. So, what are all the common prescription that can be given to a patient of a rheumatoid arthritis or amavata? See, number one, we have to go with one of the agni deepana treatment or amapachana treatment, and one of the best treatment which can go for this is chitra kadi vati. Okay, chitra kadi vati. Chitra is deepana pachana both. so therefore it helps to increase the agni and it also helps for the amapachana so chitrakadi vati should be given one tablet tad three times per day you have to go for this you can give it with the simple warm water uh, so this should be preferably given before the preferably given before feed that means before meal number 1 and uh, if amavata is very much uh, chronic okay so then along with the chitrakadi vati you have to also add one more important drug that is arogya vardhini rasa arogya vardhini rasa if you look into the contents of arogya vardhini rasa it is very clear uh, it's it's very helpful in the dhatu agni mandya dhatu agni mandya so if the disease is very chronic uh, then we can also go for arogya vardhini rasa it depends upon the uh, it, it depends upon the uh, situation anyway in the beginning it is sufficient if you go for the chitrakadi vati one tablet tad uh, three times a day and if you are not getting some good results in next 15 days then you can also add arogya vardhini rasa along with chitra kadivati treatment number 1 treatment number 2 is shunthi jala that means ardraka shunthi or ginger you take the ginger and crush it and put in the water and boil it and make the shunthi jala and advise the patient to daily frequently to take this particular water he should not take the plain water or cold water or simple warm water it is better to take a warm water which is processed with the ginger okay because even the shunti is also considered as best for the agni mandya and the shunti is also <coughs> uh, amapachana is also there <coughs> so this t- simple technique technique that you follow in the day to day routine will go into work number 3 uh i told that there will be shroto shodhana the shroto sangha will be there shroto shodhana treatment is very very important and therefore we have to go for such a drugs which cause shroto shodhana okay so now tailas usually tailas when we use so most of the tailas are vata hara okay uh, grata is pitta hara and damadu is kapha hara we know that so similarly so this is basically there will be pain is predominant so whenever pain is there so that always suggest the involvement of the vata so principal dosha which is involved here is again vata so always go for taila but it's very clearly told that even tailas are also having the lipid qualities are heavy in nature and that may increase the amavata okay so therefore when you select the tailas you should be very very careful and taila that you have to select is that taila which is having ushna and tikshna property and one of the best taila for that is that is mahavishagarbha taila so ask the patient to take the mahavishagarbha taila mildly heat it gently heat it and then just apply over the area where the joint pain is there mild application you should not be rubbing etc just a mild application should be there so this should be followed at least to two or three times per day and after application of the oil wait for 10 or 15 minutes and then you go for very important procedure that is called as valuka sweda what is valuka valuka is nothing but the sand you take the sand okay so balmitti so you take the sand and just filter the sand and put it over the pan or any tawa etc and fry it it becomes heat okay so it become hot now so when you heat it it becomes fry it it becomes hot and collect that particular take that sand and put it in a cloth a thin cloth and tie it okay make like a potali okay just like a potali and take that potali and then you give mild sudation or mild uh, what is a tapping over the area where the patient is having swelling or pain so this should be done after the application of the oil okay mahavishagarbha not simple tela 
it is always mahavishagarpatel is better um, indicated because it is having ushna tikshna property sometimes even uh, application of oil may increase the uh, increase the pain in such condition you don't go for application of the tela because in shastra it is very clearly told that an upashaya and anupashaya where in amavata we should not go for any oil application but uh, still this ushna tikshna tela is quite uh, useful Uh, uh this is important thing so this is called as volucas veda okay so what is the treatment treatment number 1 is chitrakadi vati chitra treatment number 2 is shunti jala daily treatment number 3 is application of uh, this mahavishagarpa tela treatment number 4 is uh, after mahavishagarpa tela application go for volucas veda and next uh, you have to go for two or three medications okay so that is amavatari rasa a tablet is available amavatari rasa one tablet tad along with the warm water with warm water after the food then maha yoga raja gugulu one tablet tea this is also given three times per day after the food and last one is maha rasnadi kashaya maha rasnadi kashaya 10 ml tea or you can uh, three times per day or two times per day you can give after the food and if the swelling in the local area is very much there and it is more and more disturbing then locally you can also go for the application of a lepa called as dashanga lepa dashangalepa uh, one teaspoon powder should be taken and it should be uh, uh, mixed with one or two teaspoons of water and then just mix it then heat it mildly heat it okay so when you heat it so you have to apply that when when it is little warm only that time only you have to apply that lepa over the affected area of the joint okay or the joints which is affected so this is one of the simplest treatment for uh, amavata or rheumatoid arthritis what we say of course if the again the treatment is very case specific this cannot be followed in all the uh, patients but it's one of the general treatment and if this treatment is not working then we have to go for some other treatment also we have to think about the samshodhana treatment that is purificatory treatment we can go for bastis and so we we need to change the some of the drugs also if it is not working otherwise this is one of the general common prescription for amo So I hope you are get benefited by this. Thank you very much. We will again meet in another class. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and also please give your valuable comment. Thank you very much.